Al-Shabaab has looked to Minneapolis to recruit Somali-American fighters, but the community here is fighting back with weapons like this. And old age is unnoticed, the youth unfocused. Al-Shabaab trying to tell you they'll bring change, but only if you hold this. But I'm holding peace in one hand and freedom on the other. Abdi Phenomenal spoken word poetry is designed to channel frustrations away from Al-Shabaab and towards something more positive. He's part of Kajug, an outreach group working out of an old theater in a predominantly Somali neighborhood. They work with Somali youth susceptible to recruitment to groups like Al-Shabaab, Mohamed Farah is the group's executive director. The word kajog means to stay away and stay out. And the message behind that is get young folks, youth, to stay away from not only al-Shabaab and terrorist acts, but also gang violence. The group tracks Somali youth from high school through adulthood and intervenes at the first sign of trouble. What makes a young Somali American here in Minneapolis susceptible to the message of al-Shabaab? So this is a process. Nobody becomes radicalized overnight. Uh, basically, these are vulnerable uh, youth, uh, they're missing, they have gaps in their lives, whether it's, whether it's a job, whether it is lack of uh, uh, mentorship. So Kajug aims to fill that gap, creating connections through mentorship and giving young people outlets like poetry and painting. Art can be a voice. Mohamed Hersi uses art to tell stories. The Somali culture is traditionally rich with storytelling through painting, and Mohamed is continuing that tradition. This is a violent painting, but the violence goes onto the canvas and not somewhere else. There you go. Uh, you can use art to, to send messages. Law enforcement groups have partnered with Kajug and say the efforts of that group and others seem to be working, that the flow of fighters from here in Minneapolis to overseas seems to be waning. Kyle Lovin is an FBI special agent. Partnering with groups like Kajug, is that what you see as essential to stopping this flow of young Somali Americans overseas? It's very essential because without engagement with the community, law enforcement's efforts are, are simply not enough. We need to have the engagement of the community, we need to have buy-in, we need to have trust. We live, we breathe with our wings open, running fast, get caught with our limbs holding. The hope here in Minneapolis is that the voice of Kajug is louder than the voice of Al-Shabaab. I'm holding peace in one hand and freedom on the other. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Minneapolis.